Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to make a 3D printed box. First, make sure that you have all of your dimensions and your design ready to go. Open the Chrome web browser and go to login.autodesk360.com. Click on Signing Up is Easy. Enter your school email account and click Submit. Fill in the field and use your master password. Check the box next to I agree to the terms and uncheck the box next to I would like to receive email communications. Then click sign up. The first thing we're going to do is create a new project. Click on create project. Enter your name and something about the project in the project name. Choose an icon and click create project. Invite me to be part of your project. So click on invite enter my email address, and then send invitation. This will guarantee that I'm able to download your files and print them. Before we start creating your box, we're going to authorize our accounts. So you need to go to gmail.com or open the mail app on your iPad, find the email that says, please verify your email, open the email and click on verify email. You only need to do this one time. Now let's return to the Fusion interface and click on New. Choose Fusion Design. When the document opens, the first thing we need to do is make sure that the settings are correct. The default measurement system is millimeters. We need to change that to inches by clicking on Document Settings and then clicking on the icon next to MM and choosing Inches from the drop-down list. Now we're ready to start sketching our object. Click on Sketch to start a new sketch. Click on one of the yellow planes to start sketching on. Notice that when you are starting a sketch, you have more tools on the toolbar at the top. For example, rectangles, circles, arcs, etc. We want to draw a square, so we'll choose the rectangle tool. After I click to place the first corner of my rectangle, boxes pop up with possible dimensions. I enter the exact dimensions of my object into those boxes so that it's the correct size. So I enter 2, then I use the tab key on my keyboard to jump to the other box. I enter 2 again and I hit the enter key. Now this box is 2 by 2. The next thing we need to do is give it a third dimension. Click on stop sketch because we're finished drawing our square, and click on Create to give it that third dimension. To extrude it, select the profile, the box, and give it a distance. In this case, mine is going to be two inches. Then click OK. Great, the box is created. Now I just need to make it hollow. So I'm going to create a new sketch on top of the box. This way I can draw an object on top of the box and then subtract material from the inside. I click on Sketch again. Then instead of choosing one of the yellow planes, I click on the top surface of the box. Then I can draw a square within that square, which will represent the material I'm going to take away. Now we need to tell the box how big to be. So I click on the Dimension tool, I click on one line, and then I click on the edge of the actual box so that I can tell them how far apart to be. Then I click on another line, and parallel line, and tell them how far apart to be. I continue around the edge of the box. Notice that I can type in 1 eighth of an inch, and it converts it to 0.13, which is 0.125 rounded up. When the box is the, the right size and in the right location, I click on Stop Sketch. Now I click on Create. I select the new box that I drew, and I tell it to go in the other direction by dragging down on the arrow. I can enter the specific distance in the distance space in the toolbar. Negative 1.875 is mine, so that I have an eighth of an inch on the bottom. Next, if I want to cut or add material to the side, 
Um, I'm going to click on the sketch menu again and then choose the surface that I want to draw on. And then I can use any of the tools, line, rectangle, circle, to draw those shapes. So for example, if I want triangles, I would use the line tool and I would draw my triangle. And notice that the software wants to help you. It wants to do things at 90 degrees. It wants to show you things that are parallel or on the same line. So you can see the dotted lines and things pop up and information pop up as you go. Then you need to make sure it's the right size and in the right location. So you use the dimension tool for that. So first I added 0.7 for the size and now I'm adding location. So I click on a point at the bottom of the triangle and then a line on the box so that I can dimension between the two of them. After I dimension the first triangle, then I can go back and create the second one. I open the line tool again and I use it to draw another triangle. Notice again dotted lines and other symbols that appear that are helping you understand how your drawing is being made. Then I go back and dimension it again. I'm noticing that this is way off center. It's not where I want it to be. So I'm going to go back and change the dimension on this side just by clicking on the dimension number and typing in a new number. Now it's more centered. It looks better. I can stop the sketch and I can cut those triangles out. I click on create. I select the triangles. Then I tell them to cut away by going negative 1 8th, 0.125, which cuts through the box. To create the slots for my lid, I'm going to use the sketch tool again and choose the side surface of the object. Then I'm going to draw and dimension the box. And this time I'm actually going to have it cut all the way through. So I only have to do this twice instead of four times. When the box is finished, you need to save the file. So click on the save icon and put your name and Niffler box, Niffler containment, something like that in the title of the object. Then you need to create a new file for your lid. The box and lid must be two separate files. Again, the first thing we do is make sure that our units are set to inches. Then we can start drawing the box lid. For my box lid, it's a square with pieces cut off. So I'm going to first extrude the square and then cut off the pieces. So I'm making this two by two. Oops, I missed that one dimension. So I need to go in and edit it. Click on the dimension so that I can make that two. And then I extrude that. So I click on stop sketch. I click on create, I click on the square, I tell it how tall to be, so 0.125 for me, and then I click OK. Then I can go in and sketch again. Now, when you are deciding where to sketch, it's important. If you're making the shoebox type of lid, you're going to want to sketch on the yellow plane, that bottom plane. If you're going to add a feature to it to create sort of an insert into the box, you're going to click on the top surface of the square. Um, if you're doing something else, you might need to ask me what the best solution is. For me, I chose the bottom plane and that's fine because I'm cutting all the way through. So then all I'm doing now is I'm going in and drawing rectangles because these are the parts that I want to cut off. I'm entering in my dimensions for each one as I create them to make it easier so I have less work later. So I go in and I type in all my dimensions and then I stop the sketch again. I can click and drag on the view cube to rotate this to a better view. Then I can click on create and select the parts that I want to use to, to trim material away. So I'm selecting that I just created. 
<clears throat> once I've selected all of the features that I want to extrude or cut away, in the extrude dialog box, I choose cut this time, and I tell it the distance of 0.125 to cut through the whole thing. Then I click OK. Finally, we just need to save it. So please put your name in the name and give it some kind of description that helps me understand it when I go to print it. Now you're ready to share your files with me for printing. So we'll go back to the Fusion 360 interface, click on refresh to refresh the page so you see all of your files, then rest your mouse on one of the files and click on the little arrow at the top right, then choose share. In the little menu that pops up, click on copy to copy the link to the file. In a new tab, open the print request form, bit.ly slash capital C, capital A, capital P, R-A-N-T. Paste the link to your file in the space and fill out the form. Enter the color you want. Enter Mr. Koza or Ms. Campbell next to other. Choose the 3D printer and click Submit. Then click Submit Another Response, return to the Fusion 360 interface, copy the link again, and paste it into the form again. You have two files, you should submit the form twice. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.